Hi, my name is Neil Androshan Pole, and I'm making this lecture, a uh, SQL Server 2008 lecture on how to add a linked server uh, to uh, your SQL Server uh, database. In today's example, I'll be adding a MySQL database to uh, the MS SQL uh, database, so I'll be able to access it through the MySQL database through uh, MS SQL. Uh, what are the benefits of using a linked server, which is really just an external server or other database that you can access through your uh, MS SQL uh, management studios? The benefits are that you could, ex you could access easily uh, external non-SQL databases from within SQL Server, and you could use T-SQL commands on your non-SQL database and have them translated uh, to your non-SQL database language well, this is partially true because you're still going to be using the syntax of the uh, actual language you're working with. Uh, in this case, uh, M plus you'll be using a special command called open query in order to access the linked servers. The downsides of using a linked server is that your code will not be, it'll be a little bit more bulky um, to access it. It's not practical to make sort procs and stuff using management studios. However, uh, as a bonus, if you have a linked server in your SQL code with another database, you could access uh, your linked uh, databases through the linked server. So you won't be just confined to a local instance. You could also use uh, remote instances. Okay, so now I'll show you how to add a linked server to your uh, database. So first, we have to go to Control Panel. Um, I'm using Windows 7, however, I think that this steps could be slightly generalized. Uh, you click on System and Security, you would go to Administrative Tool, you would click on Data Sources or ODBC double click that and now you have to go to your drivers and check to see you have the appropriate ODBC driver for the database you're going to be connecting to. In my case since I'm connecting to a MySQL database I need a MySQL ODBC driver. However if you wanted to connect to an Oracle database you would need an Oracle ODBC driver. If you're connecting to let's say uh, um, DB2 database, you would need a DB2 ODBC driver, and so on. The driver is specific to what database you're trying to connect to. Uh, you could find these drivers by Googling it on Google, and just downloading it and installing it, and uh, after you install the driver, it should show up in your ODBC data source administrator under Drivers tab. Um, once that is installed, and as we can see here, I already have it installed, you can go to system DSM and add the driver. So I'm going to add a MySQL ODBC uh, driver, finish, and it's going to ask me for the connection parameters. I'm going to call my, lo my uh, data source name MySQL. It's important to remember that name because we'll be using it to reference it later on. Um, my uh, TCP IP server or the location of the database, the host server is on my local computer so that would be a uh, local host or 127.0.0.1 and I would access it through port 3306 um, the user would be root and uh, now I'm going to connect to I have no password so this is a local instance the database I want to access is jbank and I'm going to test that connection successful then I go to OK and it showed up right there. Uh, now I go to OK once again. Now I will go to my management studios. And if you connect to your server, you'll see that you have a local, uh, well, connect to whatever server you're in management studios that you need to connect to. My development server is local dev. And then you go to server objects folder and then you would go to linked servers and then you would uh, actually let's do this for code so there are two functions that I'll use to add uh, 
uh, to link the server. Uh, first, I will use the stored proc sp underscore add linked server. This is a server side um, MS SQL uh, st uh, stored proc. Uh, my server name is MySQL. My service uh, product is uh, is uh, MySQL. The provider uh, for my database connection, which is also important because if you don't put in the appropriate provider, it won't connect. You need MS DAS uh, QL. Uh, my data source is a MySQL database. Here um, I'm referencing the driver I'm going to be using to connect to my MySQL database, which is MySQL ODBC 5.2a driver. That is just the name of the ODBC kitchen you installed. So let me show you. Because uh, so if we look over here, my driver's name is MySQL ODBC 5.2a driver. I just put that in there. Um, I'm connecting to localhost, which is my local computer, the appropriate port. My database is JBank, the one I'm going to connect to, which is right over here. This is uh, MySQL Workbench, and I'm connecting to this database. And uh, my username is uh, root. I don't have a password, and with option three, that is my connection string to uh, connect to the MySQL database. My remote server's name is MySQL. Uh, my my local login I don't have one because I'm connecting uh, locally. Remote login would be root, and I wouldn't have a password. And I would use this command: sp underscore add link server login to. Uh, uh, connect to uh, the server instance in, of MySQL. Uh, there's another thing to note. A lot of times uh, you need to grant privileges to connect to uh, MySQL uh, from a SQL Server. So you could just do this in case. Grant all on uh, start off start to your the account you're going to be connecting uh, to via MySQL root and from that at uh, localhost, which is just um, your IP address. I'll be putting all this in the comment box below this video, uh, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to run this, and I'm going to add my uh, uh, linked server. So it's been added, and if we look over here and refresh it, I now have my linked server uh, there, which is MySQL. I'm going to test the connection. I tested the connection to link server and it was successful. And now I go over here. I'm using select star from open query bracket. This is the name of my linked server, my SQL comma. As you can see, the name is the same. And now in uh, comments, I'm putting the actual command. So in this case, I am querying from the JBanks database. Um, and the JBX database has a table called jobs. So if we do a query on that table, let's select star from jobs. I have these uh, four records in the, that table. So right here, I will do a query on it, execute it. And as you can see, I have the same four uh, uh, rows returned. Uh, and that is basically how you add a linked server to uh, your MS SQL instance. So you could use MySQL with more than one type of uh, database and uh, access remote servers from uh, your MySQL uh, database engine. It's really useful and uh, it. Uh, makes things a lot more uh, practical. I noticed that on the internet there are not as many good tutorials on how to do this. At least this is a working example. Um, at least written tutorials. They seem to leave a lot of things out. Um, another thing to keep note of is uh, when... Uh, actually, uh, that's all. Uh, I, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, and I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you.